have shown Harvey rates, looking at the whole group, all whites, what percent of them are poor, 10%. Now I'm going to switch and say all poor people, what percent of them are white? Well, we're a very white state in Wisconsin. And so even though whites have a low poverty rate, only 10%, they're way more than half of the poverty population. So if I did have the faces of 100 poor people randomly drawn from Wisconsin behind me, more than half of them would be white. This is not a great pie chart because of the double counting in the Hispanics and the other. So it's not, it adds up to more than 100%, so it's a little bit off, but it gives you a little sense of the racial and ethnic distribution of the poverty population. I'm going to do the same composition by age. So one third of the poor are children, three fifths are working age, 18 to 64. We have a low poverty rate, but we make up the majority of the state, and 7% are elderly. If we look at the poor by, if you were serving everybody who was poor in your county, one out of five would have a disability. That was across all ages. I'm now going to focus in on the working age adults. Who, what do they look like among the poor? And so half of them last year were working part time or part year. Another 43% were working, were not working at all last year. And there's a small group, but still a sizable group, 10% at the poor actually were working full time, full year. So this is helping paint a picture of sort of a heterogeneous population. It's not one group of people. The needs might be quite different for those who are already working full-time, full year, for those who don't have a job, and those who are only able to get part-time work with their part year. Again, the education is also fairly heterogeneous, although you'll see a lot of people, 90% don't have a college degree. So to the extent that you are writing brochures or doing literature um, targeted towards a poverty population, you need to think carefully about the literacy level of what's in your brochures and materials. So now I want to jump a little bit and look at poverty by region. In this slide, I'm just looking at some of the largest counties. So Milwaukee does have the highest poverty rate, 22%. And Waukesha, the suburb, has 6%. Here in Sheboygan, we have a fair, fairly low poverty rate. Eau Claire's is fairly high. So a fair difference in poverty rates across the different regions. I have a nice map. And push, so this shows poverty for every county. Now, all of my data have been from the American Community Survey, which is the data you want to use if you're looking at local poverty. And they go out every year. So if even if you're a small county, if you wrap together five years, you can get a pretty good estimate for, for your county. So this is five years of data. So this is actually mostly before the recession. It's 2005 to 2009. And you can, again, maybe you can see Milwaukee is again one of the very high ones, just south of La Crosse. Vernon is high, some of the northern counties, Menominee. So there are, and then there are the areas, here we are, where it's um, lower poverty. So, and, and that's a suburb of Minneapolis over there. So that there are, there are different, I mean, this is probably very familiar to you who, who work in this area, but there's some real differences by geography. Thank you.